We're looking now from on board at Ed Carpenter's car. You see on the inside, we're taking a look as he goes, oh, we've got a problem in two. Ed Carpenter was trying to make his way around Jason Priestley when suddenly on the outside, Scott, it appeared that Matthew Halliday had a problem. We also see that looks like Gary Peterson, who has come sliding by. Everyone, it looks like, may have escaped this with the exception of Halliday. Any idea what might have gone wrong there? Well, looks like he might have got a little bit loose going into the turn, and then he corrected and got it into the wall, and that was a huge hit, Big Mike. Hit. I can tell you from experience that that is a huge hit going into the wall. And as you say, you know, 180 miles an hour. Those guys are going quite quickly. The best track safety team in the business, the Indy Racing track safety team, is uh, attending to Halliday's machine. You see the 27. That is Peterson's car. We thought we saw him sliding through. Here's a replay, Scott. Well, it looks like the car is just a little bit high. The back oh. end gets a little bit loose, and the driver's natural reaction is to correct the car to stop it from sliding. Then the car hooks up to the pavement again, and but the steering wheel's turned right, and it takes him right into the wall for that big hit. And there's the 27 car of Peterson, who does a good job of saving it. He obviously just reacting to what he saw in front of him. Here, here once again, another replay. Absolutely. It looks like maybe just a little bit high in that gray area. When you look at the track, you want to be in that dark area, in the black area where all the rubber is. Might have got the car a little bit high in the gray area. On